There we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We are returning with Sam and Max, Beyond Time and Space, Episode 5, What's New, Beelzebub? Uh, Judgment Day is at hand, and it's time for a showdown with the guy downstairs to bargain for Bosco's soul. But in the corporate wasteland known as hell, not even the freelance police are safe from eternal damnation. Can Sam and Max fight free from Satan's grasp, or have they reached the end of the line? Let's find out. I am ready to hop into it. We're at the very end, guys. This is it. This is this is the big conclusion. Sorry. I'm also in the like, middle of work and having my lunchtime, so... Hmm. Oh, no. Now I have seven. Spaceship will self-destruct in three, two, one. Spaceship destroyed. But I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. Looks like we escaped that horrible explosion in the nick of time. You okay, Max? <laughs> I don't feel disintegrated. You? <laughs> More than usual. But it felt like landing on a boiled ham. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Feathery. Forgot you were in there. The indignities I'm made to suffer! Why on earth have you brought me here? Do you recognize this place? Does no one study the classics anymore? There, well, we're obviously in the eternal twilight at the banks of the River Styx. The land of the dead. <laughs> oh boy, all the coolest people are dead. I should have brought my autograph book. Well, you've delivered Bosco to his final rest, so let's be off, shall we? Come on, we can't just leave Bosco here. Yeah, we should at least staple a note to him or something. No, we're gonna have to find Bosco's soul and get it back into his body. Nah, you the peace and quiet was too good to last. Poor Bosco. The shock of seeing time-traveling mariachis was too much for his heart to take. Stress-induced heart attacks are the second most common cause of death for conspiracy freaks obsessed with alien abduction. What's the first? Unexplained organ removal. <laughs> <clears throat> this is what happens to babies that get thrown out with the bathwater. Oh, what about this guy? Hey, what are you guys working on over there? <laughs> you surface dwellers just wouldn't understand. Surface Dwellers is actually one of the nicest things we've been called. Looks like the bottom dropped out of the Esperanto literature business. Those books always take you to the touristy, overpriced areas. Oh, here we go. Harry! Aw, oh, cute, Max. It's a little goth mole man. Token. Token mole man? So now we're underrepresenting the mole man demographic? I thought we were just insensitive to women and minorities. No, you need a token. You've ruined my big entrance. Wait, Harry Moleman? In a past life, yes. Now I have become deaf. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear me? I'm deaf! Wait, hang on. Ah, false alarm. Tumor was benign. How did you get to be deaf? Hell's been on a big corporate efficiency kick lately. They're passing the savings on to me. They've been outsourcing the coolest jobs, and I underbid the last guy. See you later, Harry. Maybe sooner than you think. No. No. <laughs> hey, pal, can you... Whoa, wait! Yours really knows how to fill out a suit. Well, I never. got 
to get boss. All those times on the mariachi spaceship when you saw only one set of footprints, that was when I carried you. Oh, for heaven's sake. We've got to... Have you seen Bosco's soul lying around anywhere? Bosco. Oh, Bosco. Is that his first or last name? We never asked. Or cared, really. Well, the last soul train came through about 30 minutes ago, so he's probably already in hell. How do we get to hell? Well, you have to take the soul train. Naturally. Your final stop depends on what's in your permanent record. But... Uh, if you two are trying to get to hell, that uh, really shouldn't be a problem. We want to take the next train out of here. Nobody gets on board the Soul Train without a token. How do we get one of those? You automatically get one when you die at your appointed time. Well, cheer up, fellas. You'll be dead soon enough. See you later, Harry. <clears throat> that Maybe sooner than you think. Whee! What? We've got to get Bosco's soul back. No token on Bosco's body. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we should take a boat tour of the Phlegathon. Boat tour? The best way to see it is bobbing eternally just below the surface. up on our own street. You mean we've been living over the gateway to hell all this time and never took advantage of it? Our condo association is going to be receiving a very stern letter about this. <laughs> Hiya, cops. Hello, and welcome to Pimplica. <laughs> what car upgrades are you offering this time? Turn your vehicle into a super fast nitro burning funny car. Time only. Offer in Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, yeah! I can take that mother out of the street away, push her to the red line till she screams, pop the clutch, kick you the afterburners, and smoke them pigs as I sail over the county line. Woo! You can't see over the wheel, Max. Fascist. <laughs> We want that nitrous upgrade for our car. I want to go fast enough to blow the stink off of Sam. We're sorry, but your vehicle has gone on to a better place. We are sorry for your loss. Can't you fix it? We're afraid the car is completely dead. Repairing it is beyond our current skill level. <laughs> it still had so much to live for. Can't you guys upgrade the DeSoto? The nitrous speed upgrade is only for vehicles in working condition. We're sorry, but your vehicle is completely dead. That's crazy. When did the DeSoto die? <clears throat> is it my imagination, or is Bluster Blaster acting weirder than normal? He suffered severe injuries while testing an experimental wireless antenna. <laughs> you guys, you guys, I'm in so much pain right now. We have been wow. using laughing gas to keep him sedated. Wow. <laughs> Where are you guys getting enough nitrous to do car upgrades? Bluster Blaster was given laughing gas to ease his suffering after his recent injury. <laughs> oh Wait, you've been selling the leftovers for his prescription? And these guys are the only ones not going to hell. Oh, the irony. <laughs> I don't know, does technology go to hell? So long, we don't. Stay virtuous! Uh, sorry, that one second. Okay. 
Stinky's Diner. Hmm, they're closed. That's kind of crazy. Sibyl. Oh, Sam and Max, you're here. I've been dying to tell you. You will never guess what Abe did during our date last night. We stopped speculating about that months ago. It was making me lose my appetite. Sam, shut it. Girlfriend, dish! He actually <laughs> got down on one jowl and asked me to marry him. Congrats, I guess. I've got so much planning to do. I'd be a wreck if I didn't have the monster to help. Oh, it's no bother. Judge me for this, Max. It's for his own good. Bless you. <laughs> All right, monster. Monster. Hmm. Never handled a monster before. I'll have to figure out how this works exactly. He's dead. But I'm sure he's used to that by now. Um. He's lost in thought. It's not easy to condemn a guy with no soul. Uh. He's dead. But I'm sure he's used to that by now. This is not the first overpriced wedding invitations. I still haven't gotten my invitation. Strange, since the wedding's only hours away. Lost in the mail, I'm sure. So, monster, <laughs> I was thinking of using. Oh, did he die again? I'm up. I'm up. Wait. He's alive. What? I don't have time for this. She just brings him back every time he dies. That's that's unfortunate. How you doing, Grosso? What have you been doing since you confessed your love for Sybil and she turned you down? Mostly just replaying that moment in my mind over and over again. Hey, monster, which color do you think Abe would look best in? <sighs> Maroon. Enjoying all this... Please, kill. Thank you. Again? All right. Which form to use? Hiya, Sybil. I don't have much time to chat, Sam. I've got so much to plan. Is there room in the wedding party for Max and me? As president of the U.S. and high priest of the ocean ships, I'm qualified both legally and spiritually to conduct the ceremony. Hmm, how to put this tactfully? They'll be serving ice cream in hell before I let that happen. <laughs> What's the wedding going to be like? Is it a shotgun wedding? Max! What a thing to ask! Oh, wait. He doesn't know what that means, does he? Just nope. let him enjoy his fantasy version for a while. Can we give you anything for the wedding? We kept one of the zombie's arms that fell off. It's old and kind of blue now. You want to borrow it? That's <laughs> a lovely offer, but no thanks. Is there room in the wedding party for Max and me? As president oh, of the U.S. That's it. and okay. I... Hmm. It's just the one. <laughs> Good luck, Sybil. So, monster, I was thinking of using... Oh, did he die again? I'm up. I'm up. He's alive! I don't have time for this! No. So I need somebody I can kill that won't come back alive, right? That's what I'm kind of getting from this. I can't believe that DeSoto died while we were away. There's so much I never got the chance to say. No. 
Mama Bosco? Mrs. Mama Bosco? That's Ms. Mama Bosco. You think just because I'm dead, you don't have to respect my independence? Oh. Don't you get to be a ghost? I don't know. I was sitting in my apartment when all of a sudden there was this explosion. I don't remember hearing or causing an explosion. It was a great big geyser of vinegar and baking soda. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Wait a second. Where is your apartment exactly? On the second floor above the store, fool. Where else would I live? How do we get to your apartment? Hell if I know. Some fool blew up the stairs. Hello.
Okay, okay, let's see here. Um, Wasn't somebody there to guide you to the afterlife? There was some little man who kept going on about a token and some train, but the second explosion scared him off. Now the stairs are destroyed, and I can't get up there to get that token. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Any final arrangements you want us to take care of? Oh, I ain't going anywhere yet. Even if I could get to the afterlife, I can't rest until I find the man who trashed my store. But that was over Ooh. 40 years ago. Wow, she really holds a grudge. I'm glad I broke up with her. I spent the last 40 years thinking of new ways to make his life a living hell. But then she says things like that, which makes me love her even more. Wild. Uh, describe the vandal again. This guy who trashed your store, what did he look like? I never got a good look at his face, which is why I hired that P.I. to track him down. But I remember he was about six feet tall. Like Bosco. Yeah. And he had big, bulbous forearms. Kind of like Bosco's forearms. Right. <laughs> and he was kind of balding, with skin that wasn't quite purple, but sort of... Bosco colored? Yeah, you could say that. Have you two seen the guy? We haven't seen anyone who fits that description, ma'am. Not right now, anyway. Have you seen Bosco lately? Not as much as a mother likes. No, I'm always upstairs plotting my revenge, and he's always busy working on his inventions, losing track of time. That's why I send him an alarm clock every Christmas. Well, you'll get to see more of him now that you're both dead. Let's not bother the poor woman any more than we already have, Max. That's crazy. I love that he gets to say things like that, and no oh, one really cares or notices. Until I find out who's responsible for this. Okay. Well, let's go talk to Flint Paper. Hiya, Flint. What's shaking? Can't talk, fellas. I'm still waiting for Bosco to get back. Oh, we already found Bosco. Yeah, his corpse is already decaying down in the sewer. <laughs> That's cute, little pals. But I got a 40-year-old case to wrap up here. <laughs> No, it's real. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Good. Try the office, I guess. See what items we can find. Ah, oh, shoot. There's a giant time traveling elevator blocking the door. Oh. Hmm. Hey, there we go. Unblock our door. Screw you. What? Uh. Oh, I know. It's the egg, right? Hey. Hey, buddy. Throw us that remote control, would you? You're gonna need this. Thanks, buddy. See you later. Now, that's us. A lucky vermin. Casino. Oh, well, Jimmy Two Cheese. We haven't seen much of you lately. Yeah? Well, I've got an image to maintain. Can't be seen with you, low lights. <laughs> you know, that's a lot of attitude for somebody we first met crawling up our toilet. I gone legit. I'm building a child-friendly resort destination here. Is the Mametron coming back to life? Nah, he's brain dead. We're turning him into a fantastic laser light show. You know, for the kids. Families go apes over that kind of crap. What does Tiny Timmy think of the new kid-friendly casino? He said it's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. Out of the foul mouths of babes. And once this place takes off, I can finally afford to get a cure for his terminal Tourette syndrome. Problem is, Morty Pipewalk is the only one of us with an electrical engineering degree. And he ain't been right in the head ever since he drank that drain cleaner. What we need is a computer. Oh. Hold on. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to do this. What's that? It's all neat and computery. It's got to help out with your laser light show. Thanks, Sam and Max. This will be fight. I don't think so. I was afraid. I was petrified. Oh, that man. Ain't right. 
What did you guys do? Reconfiguring neural network tunnels. So, you're back from outer space. Evacuate! Evacuate! Oh no! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Killed Tiny Tiny Timmy. Uh, that's that's not great of us. One way, straight down. One way, straight oh. down. Oh, talk to the Mantron. Hey, robot. Greetings, morons. What's with the attitude? What's with the attitude? The artificial intelligence unit you installed is refreshingly blunt, Jackass. My tap subroutines have been disabled. I don't care what I say anymore. This is my life. Now that you're mostly rat free, what's next for you, Mr. Mainchard? I'm planning to relocate. Not that it is any of your business. Are you going to make a move to a town that's right for you? Affirmative. A town to keep me moving. To keep me grooving with some energy. Wow. Fair enough. Kind of funny, though. We need your help. Do a favor? I can't go for that. No can do. With my new AI, I can only be controlled remotely. Oh. Okay. Um. I have a remote control. We'll talk Will to you later. that work? You can call me. Call me anytime. There'll be snow flurries in hell before I let you have control of a two-story tall battle robot, Max. Uh, Here I go again, on my own. Oh. Into Bosco's window. What's up? Gonna take a midnight train. Ooh, ooh. Domo arigato, Mr. Obato. Not, uh, well, you know what? That's not the worst of them. down the manhole. Ah! Sam and Max! Could you guys hurry it up? I've heard about a robot full of seriously injured rats and I've got a quota to fill. Hold your pale horses! We're working on it! <laughs> Hold your pale horses is actually amazing. Um, let's see. Okay. Harry? We've got the soul train token. One adult and one max, please. How did you guys get a token? We've done things, Harry. Things we're not proud of. Wicked things. Shut up, Max. Er, zombie Abraham Lincoln didn't want his. Oh, good. Put your token in the machine to call the train. Everybody get on board, because we about to take a ride on the Soul Train. Yo, that's sick. Next stop, we going straight to hell, baby. That's actually fantastic. <laughs> W-A-R-P Jared Emerson Johnson
You have now entered hell. In one moment. This is hell. Danke for hoarding. No. Hell. You... What number were you trying to reach? No. We are 666. Six, six. Yeah. No, no problem. Happens all the time. See you soon. Can I help you? We want to talk to the guy in charge. He's taken Bosco's soul too early. I see. Well, his schedule is full at the moment, but I'll see what I can do. And you are... Um, Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Oh, yes. The ones who sent me here. Or oh, I'll get right on that. Oh, dear. Here, can be a peach and clear out my calendar for... Who authorized this? A giant horned skull? Really? I'm sorry, I thought it was 2008. Oh, very well. Cancel all my appointments, will you? I'll be in my office. Oh, did I forget to introduce you? How careless of you. <laughs> you can have a seat and wait if you like. Is that candies? Like oh, actual candies? Sure. I'm watching my weight. Don't worry. They're all nearsighted. Does that make it less Hell LLC? Why is Hell it Hell LLC? Limited liability was a good choice. I don't want to think about these guys' legal fees. The contract negotiations alone must be a nightmare. Hmm. This is Hell. Hold, please. Yes? Can we get a tour of the place? You'll have to guide yourselves. I have to answer the phones. For eternity! Don't we need a visitor's badge or something? No. As frequent contributors, you can go where you like. Just look, though. Don't touch anything. This isn't at all what I expected from hell. It's, uh, soulless. Yeah, which is kind of missing the whole point of hell. But the corporate presence has done wonders for our productivity. My soul-taking operation, which you destroyed. The soul-crushing on delivery system, which you destroyed. <laughs> Hell is now running at peak efficiency. Or at least it was. That's kind of hilarious. And awesome. Um, okay, I guess Hold we just... Calls. Yes, this is so funny to the point that I cannot remember to laugh. Stuttgart Nightlife. Figures the reading material in hell would be two months old. <gasps> oh, that's funny. And the couches have spikes on them, so that's interesting. Wait, I want to see the trophy cabinet. Why is there a trophy cabinet? Okay. 2008, hot as hell, burning up. I can't imagine. Grass. Pride. Greed. Wrath. Lust. Why do you keep reading them like that? Greed. Pride. Sloth. So, seven deadly sins, right? So that's one, three, one, three, four, five, so that's four, five, six. So I need to see one more, one more poster.
Hmm. Okay. The shambling corporate you president. You don't have to be damned to work here, but it helps. Hmm. It looks cold. I can't even oh. get a hot cup of coffee in hell! I found the last one. Yikes, don't touch that. Okay. <gasps> Mr. Spatula. Well, well, Mr. Spatula, it finally all makes sense. Coming back from hell as a ghost, manipulating the gullible ocean chimps, oh. making the volcano explode to summon the mariachis. It was all part of your evil plan. It wasn't part of your evil plan? Well... That wasn't too bad, if you were making it up as you went along. I hope that was an evil laugh. <laughs> What's on the board? Things have gotten so bad, they had to cut minimum, minimum wage, wage in half. $3.33? That's crazy. Your mama don't work here. Hey, we needed her token. It has three settings. Bake, popcorn, and cremate. Microwave doesn't have a setting for tentacle monster coffee. Tentacle <laughs> monster coffee. That's not how you're supposed to fill the pot. Um. Let me just. Uh -uh. Hmm. Okay. Figure out a different way to get a cup of joe, I guess. Can we have your key card? Well, considering you already took it, I guess so. I don't need it anymore. Now that I'm full time in hell, suckers. Yeah, Brady, <laughs> you win. <laughs> Brady Culture, you're dead? I didn't even know he was sick. How do I not get an obituary? I'm a major television star, uh, an international buzz generator. Uh, the pain in my backside. Yeah. How'd you get here, bud? What are you doing in hell? Living large! I've been a temp in purgatory for the last year and a half, but oh. finally, I'm a full-time employee. Right, we don't actually care. We're famous TV stars. Sticks and stones. I don't care what anyone says. I'm in hell, and I'm happy. That's so weird. How'd your fro grow back so fast? Elf tears. Elf tears? Fair enough. Elf Tears is amazing. Forgive me, my mouth is too parched for a spit take, but... You like hell? What? I mean, sure, the wailing of millions of tortured souls gets a little old, and my headphones are ten sizes too small, but none of that matters, because I finally found someone who believes in me. Satan. He is the only true equal opportunity employer. That's Does your on-the-job training include evil lastmanship? <laughs> Apparently, yes. I guess that's a no. That's... Come on. Laugh. That's a good laugh. <laughs> sort of. It's a decent laugh. You're telling me Satan thinks you're actually good for something? That's right. I'm finally somebody. Too bad you had to die to become somebody. The Damn. ironic reversals were so thick, you could cut them with a knife. Okay. So. Later, Brady. <clears throat> hey, Hubliss. Hey, buddy. Oh. Look, it's Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. <laughs> nah. Hey, don't say hi. Didn't you absolutely? Nice trick with your head. Do exorcisms work on people already in hell? Okay, what's... You busy? We're going for lunch. Wanna come? Did you get that meeting request I sent? What are your dreams? What are your dreams? What do you do here? I work for the largest division of hell. The FCC. Doing what? I think. Right here in your 
cubicle? In front of Satan and everyone? Do you believe? I listen for naughty words, and I believe them! No swearing, no cursing, and no oaths of any kind. No that oaths? That takes the fun out of everything. Exactly! Have mercy on us. <laughs> hey, sorry about killing you last year. It happens. Oh. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna go down like that. Can we okay. say... What about... Tugger? Yanker? Tool handler? Hmm, okay, all right. Good, good to know. <laughs> what about that time Jimmy Hoffa said, ride the fucking surfboard? <laughs> oh, yeah, you should have bleeped that shit out of that. Bucking is not on the list. Sorry. What's on the list? Later, Hugh Bliss. What is on the list? It's a list of swear words. Oh, they're all bleeped out, so you can't... <laughs> uh... Ew. It's seven words bleeped out in a fashion that... I mean, they're, they're bleeped out, so... <laughs> um... Okay. Corporate meeting... Let's see. Sexual harassment in you. Uh-oh. I've touched all those places. Several times. That's weird. Proceed with caution when it comes to rabbity legomorphs. What's in the back room? Why is the back room dedicated to Sam and Max? I'm impressed by the decor, but what kind of place is this? kids play area. They've got little play sets of all our pals. Hey, Bosco. Oh. Hang on, I know what this is. This is where they keep all the souls of people who died during our cases. They opened it already? But I had a speech prepared and everything. Wait, that's, that's wild. Uh, yeah, the card reader, I guess, right? That has the, okay. Ah, the key card unlocked the dioramas. Where to? Uh, DeSoto? Oh no. What's the hold up, Grandpa? Gun it! This is as fast as it goes, little buddy. We are in hell! That's... really, that's it? Such no diving. No. Okay. Oh, we expanded again. I thought I finally figured out how to keep the weight off. Um, what about the Is cooking that show? Grandpa now? Stinky? <laughs> All looky loos come to see the big show, have ye? Grandpa Stinky looks even more miserable than usual. I didn't think it was possible. How do I. Grandpa Stinky looks he Okay. Move it's one. one of Santa's elves. Oh dear, I'll never make my ship date with all these distractions. Uh. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Cooking show. Tar cakes. No, in. I might need a snack later. That's one of the few things that's not better with tar. Uh. Do I need to... oh. Okay. Cooking show diorama. Now, 
My next dish is based on a favorite recipe of Grandpa Stinky's. <laughs> which I'm taking to the ninth circle of hell. To the base of milk and pickle juice, just add a little chocolate-covered horseradish. Damn! Damn! <laughs> and That's after funny. the break, another circle! Get a hold of yourselves. Nothing is that exciting. Grandpa Stinky! How did Max get there? <laughs> Hi, Stinky. What's cooking? Ah, I've been wondering when you two would show up. He remembered us! So you were murdered. We were right all along. Girl Stinky really did murder you. Maybe next time a couple of travelers from the future come to you with a warning, you'll pay attention. Murdered my impacted colon? T'was naught but a mountain climbing accident that felled old stinking. What? Did you say you were killed in a mountain climbing accident? Aye, it was in the Himalayas, halfway up the north face of the Devil's Nipple, when Miss Port Cables just fell off. If only someone had developed a better instinct. <laughs> Tell me it was real? You were actually off doing what? Oh, Your wow. hell is just being on a TV show? I thought for sure a mean old coot like you would end up buried up to your neck in poo or something. Yeah, this doesn't seem so bad. Not bad. Just look at that crowd hanging on her every word. And they've got the nerve to reduce me to her... To her sous chef. I can't appreciate a real genius of the culinary uh, dark arts. Wow. So Stinky's got her own show. What's the big deal? Every second this show stays on the air is like swallowing another handful of acid-dipped razor blades, twisting and churning in my gut. Well, as long as you aren't bitter. So what is the deal between you and Girl Stinky, anyway? She was my protege. I made her what she is today. Now they call me her apprentice. Pah! Wow. Um... I don't even know what to say here. Okay. We'll say bye. you get back to the show? Yeah, we can't wait to try out Girl Stinky's next dish. You're so lucky to get to work with her. <laughs> um, let's see. It, uh, we obviously demon Stinky. We didn't warn you about Max's special dietary needs, right? Go away. Exactly. She's not real. Um, hold on. No, I might need a snack later. Wait, hold on. Go grab a stinky, give him the cake sample. No, I might need a snack later. Oh. Hmm. How do they do this? What about the little crowd? That's one of the few things that's not better with tar. Well, forget the tar, but... Yes, I have a question for Miss Stinky. Your seven layer bars turned my stool bright orange. Is that normal? You will pay for your insolence. Yeah. What about... Ah, How are you folks enjoying the show? I thought the casino was nice, but this? What a treat! I ain't no expert on food or nothing, but that stinky's a master chef. I think we're gonna have to come down here for vacation every year. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty <laughs> sweet. Tyrone! Now, Miss Stinky, I warned you about the responsibilities that come with hosting a live program. It won't happen again, I promise. Okay, just keep the language clean oh. and that'd be fabulous. I'd hate to have to cancel such a wonderful show. Okay, okay. I get it. We gotta find little Timmy. They may have been killed by a giant robot. But at least the rats got to see a true celebrity in action. Uh, the cooler. But the cooler's not for food. It's for the inevitable organ transplants following the show. Okay. 
I gotta find where little Timmy Growing up up. stinky, the early years. Trashy celebrity biographies and hell are a natural combination. Wow, this is kind of crazy right now. Sorry, I just got a whole notification on some on some P Diddy news that I'm kind of really shocked about. I'm just kind of like, wow, the fact that this it got that far. Crazy. Okay. What was Harry doing? What was that? Um, so I think we should try. Santa's workshop. Hmm, Santa's workshop. A jolly old elf working hard on his delivery. The sound of children playing, and a jolly Christmas jingle. How could this possibly be hell? Maybe Santa's Jewish? I doubt that's the case. Oh, you know what? I want to check. No, I may need it again later. We're really, truly here for Bosco, so let's get Bosco. Oh, no! Let's go! Watching him. Bosco's naked. I'm doing everything I can not to think about that. On natural. You're not helping. In the wrong. I'm not listening. In the wrong. In his birthday suit. Shut up. Nude. Shall we? Let's. Hey, hey there, Bosco. Don't look at me! Trust me, we don't want to see you any more than you want to be seen. Why are you standing naked on a stage in front of your mother, your therapist, and a Mexican? Wait, wait, I know this one. I'm in some kind of one-man play, but it never ends, and I don't know any of the lines. Bosco's personal hell. A 
played an infinite number of acts. Phew, I thought waiting for Godot sucked. <laughs> so, how are things? Oh, you know, not too bad. Except I'm in hell! Eternal damnation sure made somebody cranky. Yeah. Do you have any... Boy, I'm standing buck naked on an empty stage miles below the surface of the earth. Does it look like I have any anything? Do you have any chainsaw gasoline? <laughs> oh, I really am in hell. And that's how we want you to feel, Bosco. Cheer up, Bosco. None of this is real. It's all an illusion. What are you talking about? Of course it's real. I've been pinching myself to be sure. My face is real. My chest is real. My stomach is real. And my okay, we get your point. Um, uh, wow. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> what do you have to do in this play? Well, I just got done playing a game of truth or dare with all my ex-girlfriends. And after that, I got to get a root canal while taking an algebra quiz. Oh, I didn't even study. Yeah, okay. See you around, Naked Bosco. I don't think I'll ever stop seeing you. Save me! Uh, I'll try. Hey, nitrous. It's nitrous oxide. It looks like Bosco has some dental work in his future. It'll be twice as hilarious without anesthesia. <laughs> Hola, mariachi. mariachi. Hola. Oh. What's your story? I got a job watching Bosco for morning Thunder King. I don't have that much time. Can we just call it a day now? Oh, I just can't look away. It's like a car accident or a funeral, but not as beautiful. Senor, I am watching you all the time. T-H-E-L! <laughs> you, 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 you don't even have to... Keep spelling them at this point since you know who they are. They're just mariachi. Howdy, Demon You got a time machine. Howdy! What you doing? I'm Anwise Bosco, and it's causing an excruciating, never ending agony. Wow! Sorry, didn't mean that. Well, Bosco, I've almost gotten to the root of your problems, but I'll have to keep studying you forever and ever. Stop looking at me, woman! Wow. Demon Mama Bosco. Demon Mama Bosco. That's Liz, Demon Mama Bosco to you. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm watching Bosco suffer eternally. Isn't it great? Uh, you know, it's all right. I still got my eyes on you, sugar. Sweet to Bosco, make it stop! Okay. Out of this diorama. Uh, card reader. Hey, wait a minute. This ought to boost a DeSoto spirit. Wow, the tank just shrunk to the perfect size when I put it in. Now that's efficiency. That is efficiency. And can we get inside? I think we can. We got wait, what? That's not where we we're supposed to be. Okay. Uh, card reader. <sighs> Come on. Come on. There we go. Woohoo! Woohoo! Looks like Sam and Max got themselves into another jam. Let's we'll see what happens when old Bosco's demons get a load of this. What? <laughs> Oh. 
your soul and the soul of the DeSoto. All oh, right, guys. You actually did it. Actually. Yeah, but that Satan dude still owns my soul. I'm gonna chill here till you work things out with him. Chill in hell. That, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's good. <gasps> Hell's efficiency is down. What happens? Brady, Brady, Brady. We've taken a tremendous hit in efficiency. Are we going to have to demote you back to hourly? No, 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 sir. I'll do better. Hey, Lucifer, we want to talk to you. What? I'm quite busy. Scheduling an appointment with my secretary. Man, Satan's a jerk. Who does he think he is? We're going to have to do I some know. more damage to King his of attention. Hell? <laughs> what do you mean, who does he think he is? <laughs> Saint, right? That's that's what. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else do we got? Well, I saw that there was an elf, right? So let's go visit the elf boy. Little elf boy, little elf boy. Looks like some kind of vaguely familiar hellish toy factory, Max. Mm. Oh boy, I want to see the assembly line where they injection mold the dolls' heads. Here it's strangely hypnotic. Oh, there's no assembly line. I make all my toys one at a time. It's the only way to guarantee each child loves it as much as I do. That's actually kind of sweet. Look, Max, it's our favorite demonically possessed elf. Well, maybe not favorite, but he's in the top five at least. Oh, hey, guys. Hey. We haven't understand. seen you since the exorcism. How'd you end up here? I'm not sure. When I woke up, I went outside to find Santa. But the last thing I saw was a horrible monster. I must have fainted. When I woke up, I was in this fancy factory. I guess Santa gave me another promotion. No. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay. How's the toy business? You're fun? looking, Chipper. Are you enjoying sending overpriced toys out to overprivileged children? Oh, no. It's awful. No matter what I do, my toys keep getting sent back. Okay, look. Just because you're an elf doesn't mean you're good at making toys. Stop living the stereotype. Oh, I'm plenty good at making toys. But what good is that when there are no children to enjoy them? It's like being in, well, the place where bad people go and it's really hot. Tampa? Tampa? Oh my god. What toy are you working on now? It's the hottest new toy for Christmas. The Rex Skirmish Danger Hero action figure. He's a testosterone-packed champion of the glorious art of savage brutality. Sounds like someone's overcompensating. The head office keeps sending him back but I know I can make him perfect. Okay, let us help make Max and I wrote the book on gleefully violent entertainment. I'm especially proud of the appendix, detailing the ripping out thereof. Why don't you let us help with your toy? Hmm, maybe I have been overthinking it. Your childish simplicity could be just what I need. Childlike. All right, first, what kind of cool outfit should he have? Uh... Commando he style. He should be all buff and shirtless, with a big flaming skull tattoo on his chest. Done! Now, what should his action-packed attachment be? Sure. Chainsaw. A biodiesel-powered chainsaw caked with the blood of eco-terrorists. I can do that. Now, what's his tragic flaw? What drives him to seek out danger? <laughs> acid for blood? Okay. He's got highly caustic acid for blood and various related digestive disorders. Hmm, okay. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. I'll whip up a prototype. 
What will this look like? It's the Rex Skirmish doll with killer abs, chainsaw, and acid for blood. Very useful to Hello, Mr. Elf. Uh, don't worry. We'll don't be you. discouraged. Maybe Max and I can help you find a job you're good at. Oh, I'm plenty good at making toys. But what good is that? Fair Keep enough. busy. Oh, what's the point? Okay. Okay. Let's go visit Santa. Leave the nice Santa alone and let him do his work. Santa has not yet learned true suffering. <laughs> what? What is with the demon babies? Must be one of those Rex Skirmish dogs. Do your worst, Doctor Despicable. You'll never kill Rex Skirmish. That's actually so cool. Okay, Santa. Hi there, Santa. What kind of miserable work are you doing here, Santa? I'm recalling dangerous toys. Ah, oh, I recall the dangerous toys of my youth: the Savage Tongue Ripper, Little Patio Fisticuffs, the Belligerent Drunken Leprechaun. <laughs> oh, I remember that one. He really wet himself. That's crazy. Having to recall toys must be horrible for you. Hellish, even. Oh, my, no. I love recalling toys. Okay. The problem is these babies make it impossible to concentrate. What's wrong what with What dangerous the toy? toy are you recalling this time? It's the Rex Skirmish Danger Hero action figure. Completely irresponsible, and it just keeps coming back even worse. Oh, it's taken me four months just to get them to remove the candy-flavored lickable lead-based chest tattoo. Wow. What's the matter with the babies, Chris? Santa loves children. Why do people always assume that? I took the one job where there's only one day a year there's even a chance I'll be near children. With very strict rules that they're not allowed to see me. Well, when you put it that way... That, how do you think yeah. a feral man like me has been married for centuries with no kids? Did you think of that? I'm trying really hard not to think about that right now or ever again. That's a crazy statement. <laughs> okay. Uh... Have a holly jolly eternal damnation. Ha <laughs> ha! What did I do to deserve this? Let's see. Okay. Um. Okay. Get the kids to leave Santa alone. Right? What? Wait, do I just need to... Wait, the way it showed that... Losing blood! Guess this is the end of old Rex Skirmish! Gee, Sam! If you don't like the gift, just say so next time! Oh, it made them go away. Oh, they're gone. Did you come to enjoy my wonderful toy? <laughs> I thought I'd never be rid of those blasted types. Hacks. Oh, and oh, it listen to that silence. <laughs> it's heaven. We're getting them out of hell, guys. We've done it. Save Santa. Save Thank the you, elf. Sam and Max. You have been very good boys. But as long as Satan owns our souls, we have to stay put. Snap. Whoop. 
Gotta go check out that efficiency. Go see what it looks like. Mr. Bliss. I'm you Bliss. Yes, I know. We took a great risk hiring a sentient bacteria to work for us. But the numbers are making me believe I made a mistake. Oh, don't say that. I still believe you're doing a great job. <laughs> Oi, Diablo! Not you again. That's Go hilarious. away. Have a wonderful day. Oi, I Diablo. Is bring the whole place down. Okay. Oh. Poetry magnets. Some work magnets, haphazardly arranged. Work or the Dark Lord will eat your soul. Hmm, I would have gone with work or the Dark Lord will eat your donut. Can I take them? Work or the Dark Lord will eat your soul. Uh, I guess not. Okay. I gotta find something else. Sometime. Uh... Works on card keep. Employee rights, your health, not our concern. Hmm. Okay. Now into the back rooms. Hmm. Max the Destroyer, Sam the Devourer. Oh, wait, that's a drawer. Hey, open. someone opened the two teeth drawer. Wow, Jimmy's personal file is huge. He must have been committing a dozen unpardonable sins a week. Slacking. <laughs> that's wild. So you could play a little bit of floor hockey in the office. How am I gonna get that one? I can sort of see it, right? No, not right now, anyway. Um, guess we're just gonna walk out of hell. We have so much free rain here, but it's like, who can stop us? Whee! Wait, is that why Harry, is that why Harry was in the office earlier looking at stuff? Was he checking out a file and I missed it? I might have, yeah, that might have exactly been what it was. Uh, wait, where's little Timmy? Whee! Did they take him to the cops? They took him to the cops. I am so sorry, Timmy. Hands off that permanent record! By the looks of this kid, I'm gonna be needing that any minute. There's still a chance he'll pull through, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> okay, Death. I see you, buddy. Okay. Not happening. No serene. We can't go into symbols? Oh, the file. I was just like, wait, what? Just go into symbols. That's what I'm trying to do. I love that it's just called the big gun. Thank you. Again? All right. Which form to use? Okay. Exit door. Run across. <laughs> File. Switch it. No. Switch it. Switch it. Good kid. It'll make the eulogy more interesting. What did you f do? Give that f back! 
Settle down, Kitty. The doctor said if you exert yourself, those f stole my f Huh? Huh? Oh, no. Ah, finally! A simple, straightforward death. Let me just look at his file and we can go straight off to... Hello? Is that really this kid's file? Harry, please. You can't expect us to do your job for you. I could have sworn it was smaller. Kid must have really been busy on his deathbed. You <laughs> should have seen it. It was like every single letter ever written to Hot Bunny combined into one debaucherous rampage. Oh, well. Hot Bunny? You can tell me about it on the way to hell, then. Later. Okay. Kurt. Hiya, cops. Mm -hmm. Any cool dude? Have you been working on any new cool augmented reality games? We're sorry. We've been too busy tending to the injured and infirm. <laughs> Even my clients lie here. That's... Check back with us later. Okay. That was weird. So long, cops. Stay, Bert. Uh, Jimmy. How's holding up, Jimmy? I'll just say you f suck a m Jimmy Whoa. would have wanted it that way. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, he might have. Oh, okay. Uh... To hell, please. Okay. It's a it? list of swear words. I was like, can I just take it? We'll figure something out. But right now, I need to know if Timmy Two Teeth got his own miniature box now that he's passed away. Nope. Whee! The cooking show. Yeah. Okay. Timmy. Hiya, Timmy. Is your soul finally at peace? No, I'm not at peace, Mr. Max. I'm ecstatic to be on stage with such a Genius! Hmm, what was that? What is it doing? Calm down, kid. Did you taste her nut log with whipped Simply divine. Oh, my! Oh, no! And the smells. It's like teen <laughs> I simply cannot allow this. This show is canceled! <laughs> well, that was exciting. Oh. What? Canceled? You're finally free, Grandpa Stinky. See, you can hide everything. Made to suffer like I suffered. I can't remember when I've been so happy. Hmm, is that a happy ending or not? I just can't tell anymore. For Grandpa Stinky, yeah, it's ha it's happy, it's happy, okay. His soul is free. Suppose I should be grateful, but I'm not. Until you reprobates get the rights to my soul, I still can't leave. Don't worry, we'll get it. Looks like we've broken hell. Don't worry, we can always raise some more. I'll bet that <laughs> high and mighty Satan jerk won't be too busy to talk to us now. Cause now we're causing hell in hell. Right? I was under the impression you were here to increase productivity. Lark? And yet our efficiency is at an all-time low. How do you explain that discrepancy? Uh, 
Our bark? We haven't been properly introduced. We're Sam and Max. You know, from the statues. Pleased to meet you. I hope you've guessed my name. Yeah, and you better release our pal souls from hell, because my excitable little friend is getting angry. And I'm angry, too. There's no need for that kind of talk. I'll gladly release your friend. Just sign this release. Wait. Wait. And that's that. Wait. Well, gee, Satan. Thanks. Now, just do me a favor and think of the most horrible thing you can imagine. Hmm. Okay. No, wait. Okay. Good. Now, off you go. Hey, what just happened? He traded his soul for that of all your friends. They never read the fine print. Now, Sam will spend eternity in his own personal hell. Wait. How rude. Huh, I'm back in the office. This doesn't seem so bad. Right, little buddy? That's right, partner. No. 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 Not hell's a-poppin'. No. No. Missed. Satan must have messed up my aim to torment me. But you're a lousy shot in real life, too. I said, Satan must have messed up my aim. Wow. I don't think anyone wants to hear about Stinky's early years. I don't think anyone wants to hear about Stinky's early years. Uh, do you ever take baths in this thing? Of course, Sam. Hygiene is very important. I'll take one right now. Oh, no. He what hurts. are you doing here? What are you talking about? I'm your partner and best friend. But, but... Stop being so silly and let's work on our next case. What is going on? Didn't I used to have a, a likable partner? That's ridiculous! I've always been your best friend. And I always will be. Forever! No. You're one of those crafty demons, aren't you? Of course not. We've been pals since we were little. We used to take baths together. <sighs> what case are we working on? Don't you remember? The commissioner wants us to investigate the proposed bill on income tax reform. It's fascinating. <laughs> I think we should spend more time apart, peepers. Don't say that. I'll always be here for you, Sam. Well then, let's be off on our new case. We can't leave without doing extensive research, silly. <laughs> oh, all right. Didn't I used to have a, a likable partner? That's ridiculous! I've always been your best friend, and I always... That voice would make you me kill myself. Crack me up, little buddy. But I didn't say anything funny! One of these days, we're going to finish that game. But I don't like dark, Sam. They're dangerous. Max, where are you? Ooh. Arsenic. Arsenic. I know just the person for this. It's past the expiration date, Sam. Totally unusable. Spoiled poison. That's the worst. Banane. Empty. There shall be no quenching of thirst in hell. Hey, a bone saw. Gosh, I hope I can find someone's bones to cut. Is there a rope? 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 Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, that's a big max head. Hey. Stop! Do not look outside! Hey, Sam. How's it going in there? Max, I remember now. You're my partner. Well, duh. You've got to come in here, little buddy. It's the most horrible thing ever. Sounds fun, Sam, but not too big to fit in the hole. Hey, Sam, listen to this. It's funny. That's what she said. Ah, get me out of here. Can you believe that 
gosh, Satan guy, tricking me like that. Let's stack onion rings on his horns and throw them in the pit where they keep the gluttonous. It's that kind of thinking outside the box that makes me wish you were my partner. What's going on out there? After everybody saw what Satan did to you, it got pretty awkward. I don't like hell when it gets all tense like this. Peepers keeps telling me he's my partner. What? Nobody tries to steal my sidekick! I always thought you were the sidekick. Oh, sure thing, Sam. The office just isn't the same without you, Max. I'm bored out here, too. Don't go anywhere, Max. Relax, Sam. You're getting all weird on me. Hmm. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of this hell? I can't die, Sam. It's one of the perks of having me for a partner. <laughs> Unfortunately, impossible. Wait. Leonard? Not you, too. Okay, when Max I'm gets here, we're gonna set you free. Oh, shh, shh, don't tell anyone. Good. See you later, Peter. I'll be here. Uh... Wanna watch TV, little buddy? Too much TV. Bad for your eyes. Let's sort our change instead. Have mercy. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Max's huge head standing right there. Let me throw him the key. Hey, Max, look alive. What do I do with this? Don't eat it. Just get in here. Now Max will take care of it. Max, meet Demon Peepers. Demon Peepers here says he's my partner and best friend. Hey there! What are you- Oh, God! Bye, Leonard. That was some of your best work ever, Max. I'm particularly proud of what I did around the carotid artery. Yes, excellent grouping. Shall we motor? Yes! Free! What the devil? That hell was practically inescapable. Sorry, Satan. Your demon imposter was no match for the true power of friendship and cooperation. Plus, I ripped out his kidneys. <laughs> well, this does put me into a bit of a pickle. Management will have my head over this. Management? Who could possibly be more horrible and universally reviled than Satan? Oh. Of course. So, you finally figured it out. Sure, it took you long enough. Five episodes to find out the tiniest bosses. people were the evilest know people. Us. These fools have been essential to our plans. But how did you but get... You when did you... And how what long you have you against time? And what did we do? Please, one question at a time. How did you guys go from minor annoyances to become rulers of hell? You still don't get it? Hate is the real power. We thought Hate? nothing could be worse than former child stars. But that was before we beat Brady culture to death and realized we were destined for much greater evil. It just felt so right. So we began to commit greater atrocities on the world. Reality television. Politics. The intelligent design movement. A civil war. Oh, Each the Dakotas. More hated and more powerful. More hated, more powerful. You, you turn the Dakotas against each other. It that was is one nuts. year ago today. You thwarted my journey to evil pop stardom. <laughs> In the face of fear and diarrhea. And these glasses aren't cheap. And worst of all, the mariachis never came to sing for us. Wow, who knew the princes of hell would be such whiny little babies? 
So you meant to get Santa possessed by a demon? No, that was a clerical error. We thought some corporate efficiency would help Satan get his act together. But it seems he'll always be antiquated and useless. Damn. You know I'm standing right here. We did mean to kill that elf, though. Uh, okay. What makes you guys think you'll be better at running hell than Satan is? The old ways are dying. It's time to bring evil into the 21st century. Our subcontracting and outsourcing of soul capture and processing has increased our efficiency tenfold. But we still have to convince the shareholders to believe in hell as a relevant player in the afterlife. Current marketplace realities and underlying economic considerations mean we have to downsize. <laughs> Satan, we kept you on staff for sentimental reasons. But your performance continues to disappoint. <laughs> but if you'll give me another chance... Clean out your desk and don't come back! Damn. Fired Satan. That was fun! We've heard quite enough, thank you. Very well. Now that you've helped us depose Satan, there's nothing stopping us from continuing our agenda for domination of the infernal realms! Thanks, Sam and Max. We couldn't have done it without you! Wow. First action item, seducing a human woman and conceiving the new hell spawn. I'm all over it. Second, tempting humanity to repeat the original sin. I've got it covered. And finally, winning a new modern soul over to hell. Because of the technical skill required, I'll be handling that one, obviously. Thanks for all your help, Sam and Max. <laughs> wow. I think unwittingly bringing about the apocalypse is a first for us, little buddy. Huh? Oh, sorry. I completely zoned out there. Did they say anything important? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Yeah. So we gotta find out where these are being committed. Stop the next hell spawn. Stop the repeat of the original sin. And stop a challenge for a new soul. I feel like these are all things that can actually be worked on and done. Um let's let's I mean like it's what we have to do, so let's head over back to the surface because I'm assuming that's how it would go. Getting off the soul train. Okay. Hey, pals, come on in. We're throwing one hell of a bachelor party for Lincoln in here. Party? I haven't been paying you to party. I spent 40 years tracking down the man who trashed my store, hiring the best private investigators. It's time you tell me where he is. Tell me where he is. Well, there he is. Bosco? The mama? You mean you never thought to mention that your suspect was my son? I thought it was obvious. You're the one who's been after me all this time? It was all just a simple misunderstanding. <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty daffy. A lifetime of persecution. All just a simple misunderstanding. <laughs> Hope oh. you're not mad, baby. Oh. We all go a little mad sometimes, mother. Run along to the bunker, and I'll be in later with your dinner. I'm a ghost, baby. I don't eat dinner. Just do it! Damn. Bye, Sam and Max. Bye, Well, Mama now that Bosco. case is wrapped up. I'm off to the party. You coming, Bosco? Party! Oh, hell yeah! Well, we rescued Bosco from hell. Just as crazy as when we left him. Maybe even crazier! I would definitely say crazier, especially after he just broke in front of you guys. You watched. You watched as he... There's nothing that could be done from there. Oh, and I think there's something weird with the disciple. Hey, Satan. Hiya, Satan. Financial situation is quite dire, I'm afraid. 
I did wash your windshield for you. Oh. I, I uh, must have left my change in my other suit. Ah. Matt? I'm naked. Yes. Well. Uh, yeah, no hard feelings. We hope you're not still angry at us for getting you fired and everything. Angry? You destroyed my entire life and unleashed an unspeakable evil on the earth. All out of carelessness and a desire for personal gain. I invented that. I couldn't be more proud. I invented that. How's the hunt for a new job going? A few nibbles, but nothing promising. I'm expecting a call from Rupert Murdoch next week. What would you even do for Rupert Murdoch? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Any suggestions on how to stop the poppers? Oh, so we're stopping them now, are we? I just assumed, since you spent so much time helping them... Jeez, Satan, we said we were sorry. Or at least not a girl hard. Oh, very well. I began to lose power when people stopped taking me seriously. Too many comical football mascots. Cartoon depictions of deviled hell. Mm. If you can ruin their plans, make them appear ineffectual, I'll be able to stage a corporate takeover. Okay, that can be done. Uh... The poppers are stealing all of your material. Yes, and from my glory days at that. If they're successful with this first round, they'll be unstoppable. Wizard made me do it, just doesn't have the same ring. <laughs> you know what? He's so right, though. It does not have the same ring. Uh, okay. We never expected that getting you fired would leave you with nothing. Yeah, after all these years, you should at least have a retirement fund. No, my golden parachute was just this cardboard box of all my possessions. I feel somewhat foolish, considering the billions of insurance salesmen and investment bankers I've met over the centuries. Oh. If anyone was going to have the best of them, it would be you, Satan. That's for sure. Uh, Can we get you a blanket or something? Might I trouble you to crash on your couch? It's just me and the box. Um, uh, we want to help you to help yourself. That's hilarious. <laughs> Stay strong, Satan. You'll make it through this. You're a survivor. <laughs> Your survivor is hilarious. Can we borrow some of your stuff, Satan? Well, I suppose so. I was hoping to sell it on eBay, but I've received no bids. You know, your screen name, Father of Lies 666, might have something to do with that. Let's see here. One super long bar paperclip chain. And the popper said you weren't being productive. Snack-sized bag of pork rinds. Great taste from the great deceiver. And one grocery list written on company letterhead. Huh? I know you're the source of all evil, but wasting office supplies for personal use, that's just wrong. Oh, 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 hey. Well, 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 Specs. Just what do you think you're doing here? I'm going to do what Satan never had the skills to attempt. I'm going to win the soul of a computer. Ha! You talk big now, but wait until you've heard me play. Beat that! You can do it. Play like you've never played before. Beat. There's a technicality. Right. Subclause 48, section 5 in the contract clearly states that entities running at less than 8 megahertz are entitled to infinite do-overs. I don't remember reading that. Infinite oh, do-overs. A perfectionist like you, and you didn't even bother to read the details of the contract? Well, all right. It doesn't matter. I'll still win. Okay. 
That is hilarious. So. Let's see, Stinky's done. We use only the freshest ingredients in our puffer zone forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. One sip, and for the first time, you know the difference between good and evil. I don't know. I've heard some bad things. Ah, our competitors are just afraid that if you start selling this, you'll become too successful. I don't need to tell you the advantages of an exclusive beverage distribution deal. See <laughs> how you're such a savvy businesswoman. Ah. Uh, hold on. Grandpa Stinky. Hey, Grandpa Stinky. We found Stinky's baby book. Good, good. Quick, read page 33. What? I'm gonna take things, but we're on it, don't it? Put it here. Out loud, you cretin! Oh, uh, let's see. Fish sticks, tar, coffee, ice cream. What kind of baby book is this anyway? It's a cookbook! The name of the recipe. Read the name. The cake of the damned. What? Huh? What? <laughs> That'll teach her. Well. Maybe you, good sir, would like to hear more about the delicious forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. What have I done? What have you done, sir? Stinky's the last person I would have figured was secretly a cake. What's going on here, Stinky? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What turned you friendly so quickly? I've made a terrible mistake. You've got to help me get her back. You old coot. You tricked us into making Girl Stinky disappear. Ah, she didn't disappear. She's still there. When you read her true name, you revealed her true form. Her true form? Is she a demon or something? <laughs> In a sense, I suppose. She's the most diabolical recipe ever created. The cake. Of the damned. Okay, what? Uh, did we hear you right? Girl Stinky is a cake? I to start. I've been experimenting with evil food for decades. You fiend! It was for the good of mankind. Humanity is weak and pathetic. Always complaining about food poisoning and severe gastrointestinal disorder. But only the strongest could survive my dishes. I'd create a master race and the most vile, combining an entree, sides, and dessert all into one bowl. No, never. The kick of the dumb. <laughs> wow. Okay. How did you reveal Stinky's true form? I told you she was always a kick of the damned. When you read her true name. You revealed her true form. Okay. How do we undo your evil spell and get Girl Stinky back to normal? You've got to do what I did that fateful night. The cake of the dam was only the first step. I knew that to take the dish from just evil to purely diabolical, it would be more. An appetizer! So I had it. Spare ribs. Next thing I knew, she appeared. The rib is the key. So I need a rib. Serve us up an order of short ribs, Stinky. Ah, if I could find any, I would have already done it myself. With this barbecue convention going on, good luck finding anybody in the city with spare ribs. Yeah, I the picture came out all weird. I couldn't do it, so I'll, I'll have to go out there. Whatever you do, Grandpa Stinky, don't let Wizard tempt you into making that deal. Don't listen to them. They're just jealous of your experience and wise life choices. I well, he does have a point there. Do you really think a guy dressed like that knows about wise life choices? Ah, you're right, of course. Look at me. 
As weak an old fool as I've ever been. The girl always was better at keeping her head about her, much as I need to admit it. Stay strong, Stinky. Don't leave me alone with him. Sorry, sir, but I got to. I've got to go looking for the other stuff. I find apparently a spare rib somewhere. I didn't have any in my inventory, did I? I don't think so. Oh, I have pork rind. Okay. Uh, paperclip chain, bone saw. Okay. Hey, cops, what's shaking? Back to challenge us to a musical contest. First prize, a solid gold violin. Second prize, eternal damnation. <laughs> Who'd be stupid enough to take on that kind of challenge? We cannot talk him out of it. Chippy. Um, we want to upgrade our car. We're sorry, but your car already has the nitrous upgrade installed. But He's just afraid to go near me. Have you been working on any new cool augmented reality games? Thanks to a collaboration with the new Grim Reaper, we have an action-packed game of shooting rats who... We'll do it! Let me finish! <laughs> Due to a clerical error, all of the city's rats were recently released from hell. Including ones that were supposed to stay dead. Oops. Shoot the evil rats to send them back to their final reward. That doesn't sound too hard. Your car has its own agenda. You must shoot the evil rats before your car hits them or you lose a point. What do we win? You're ineligible for our car upgrade, but you can play for some fantastic decals. Would you like to play now? Yeah. Hell yes. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Just to see. See what the game's like. Okay. Hello, and welcome to the Pimplicon Great Reaping Five Thousand. Send the evil rats back to hell. Ready? Go! Good job. <laughs> Remember, they're evil rats. Back to hell with you. Another one down. Good job. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, baby. I'm going to be loving you all night long. <sighs> Max, what's our situation? Keepers is making the move on Sybil. She's totally into it. Just wanted to make sure my dementia hasn't kicked in early. You can forget all about old stone face. Peepers don't a man you need now. Oh, Keepers. Wow. Whew, it's getting hot down there. Hey guys! 
guys. You're just in time for the stripper. What? Oh, boy. What? Oh, God. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Shake that money maker. Take it off. Take it all off. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Nothing mm -hmm. doing. No serene. No. Let me leave. Chippy, I'm here to save you, Chippy. Do it up, Chippy. Nah. Who plays Minesweeper these days? Chippy does. Chippy does. You got this, Chippy. You got this. Make sure you read the license agreement first, Sam. It's very important. Just start playing. About bling. Oh no. Okay, so I need to find a rib. And. I don't know. Wait. Hold on. Maybe. Does he have a free bottle I could just take? Yeah. Ah, sick. Because I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Uh, President's still missing. Oh. their friends. So that's done. Uh, oh, 
I know what to do with the grocery list. Um, I need to go back to hell. Max, distract Mr. Bliss for me. Hmm, I seem to be completely naked. Oh, dear. Hope I don't have to bend over provocatively to... That's enough, Max. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's not where I thought we were going with it, but... Here we are. Ah. Okay. Whee! The exit doors to hell. Who else can we talk to on the surface? I don't think Mametron can help anymore. I think that's kind of done. Saved a bunch of souls. Like who else is who else is around? You know. Oh, Timmy, on a you, Timmy? piece of cheese. How are you feeling, Timmy? Better than I ever have in my whole darn life. Shoot, nuts, touch balls. I still got the Tourette's. But that weird ringing in my ears has finally gone away. Oh, Sorry we ruined your dance he was fancy never swearing. Casino, That's kind ah, of adorable. That place was a real doo-doo hole anyway. I like having the robot alive because he flipping loves trivia just like I do. And he's got an irreverent, in-your-face attitude just like Daddy. You're my best friend, you little imbecile. Ah, there's nothing more heartwarming than the love of a rat for his abusive robot pal. That's kind of amazing. Sorry we ruined your dad's fancy casino, champ. Ah, that place was a oh, okay. I like nope, nope, nope. Uh, glad, glad to be back from hell. Oh, heck yeah! I'm just disappointed. The f poppers never showed up at the hospital. It was my dying wish to see them. Because oh. I'm their biggest fan ever. No, Timmy, that's wrong. Max <laughs> is right. Those f poppers are evil, wicked creatures. Soda? And besides, is... I'm their biggest fan. No freaking way! Ask me anything about them! How old is Spex? He's officially nine years old because he was born on a leap day! Sorry, Mr. Max, I'm just a melon farming trivia machine! Melon farming trivia machine is hilarious. Hilarious. Um, okay. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Bring it on! In episode 205, The Joy of Specs, what was the name of Wizard's urologist? Is that a trick question? Because in that episode, Wizard saw a gastroenterologist, Dr. Thunder calling. You lose again. What is happening? I thought Max, Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Bring it on. Okay. Wh What's Peeper's real name? Easy. It's Dick Peacock. Ah! Sorry, Mr. Max. I'm just a melon farming trivia machine. Okay. Well, I mean... Max is the king of... Bring it up! How many times has Wizard been married? Four times. Gotcha! It's... Let me finish. Four times total, but one was a no, and another was declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. You lose again. Wow. This kid does know everything. Okay. See you later, Timmy. Have a flipping great day. To, f to realize that this time, this whole time, Timmy's not been swearing or anything is kind of wild. I, a 
I sort of feel disappointed, but I'm also kind of like, you know what? He was an innocent child with Tourette's, so. What's going on, peepers? You just let peepers know how you want it, baby. Say my name. Say my name. Hey, Dick Peacock. Ah! Whoa! Wha what? You ruined everything! What have you done to his eyes? You still want to make out? Oh, hell no! <laughs> <laughs> well, we've saved Sybil from a lifetime of regret. And given ourselves a blackmail opportunity to secure our financial future. Possibly. Okay, so we stop. Now we gotta stop Wizard. Like, really, where are we gonna find. I'm trying to think. Wait, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. There is a monster who cannot die. So I know what we're gonna do. Hey, hey. There's no use for you, eh? There is a use for you, monster. You're not the theory of everything, monster. Jorgen's monster with the bones on. Do you mind if we perform some quick elective surgery? Whatever. I'm just a monster with no soul. Who cares about my feelings? Great, thanks! A fool and his bones are soon parted. I got a rib. So we jam a rib into... Okay, hey, if it works, it works. You guys were all weird, so good luck with that. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, let's go make demon cake. Demon cake! Demon cake! Demon cake! Whoa! What... what happened? Sam turned you back into a cake, but then oh, we... Whatever. Look, Mr. Wizard, <laughs> thanks for taking all this time to talk to us, but we're not interested. But if you just... The lady said we ain't interested. Then maybe you. I believe the two of us have made ourselves clear. Ah, fine then! That's too good for you chumps anyway. And stay gone! Looks like you two have learned an important lesson about cooperation. Fine. You going to order something? You can't just offer something, woman. You got to push the specials. I think I can do fine without your input, Grandpa. Oh, you can, can you? Amazing. Love it and amazing. Hey. Good news, Satan. We took care of all three of those coppers. Well done, lads. Now come with me and watch Satan do what he does best. I'm intrigued. Boardroom negotiations and corporate power play. Oh. <laughs> You've lost, poppers. It's time we put an end to this charade and returned hell to its rightful owner. What Satan said! Poppers! Assume demon form! What is Behold, demon form? Behold! Papers, the omniscient! He of the death gaze! What oh, bother? Behold, Wisrael the tormentor! It burns when I see. <laughs> oh my god. Behold, Specs the Dominator of... Oh, come on. Those are your demon forms? They're different colors. Why am I always the only one who puts any effort into these things? Do you... Sam, I'm not enjoying the <laughs> poppers anymore. Can I kill them? Not if I get them first. Banish the irritants! Sam and Max, we cast you into the pit. Why the power of the bell? And the book. 
And the candle. Oh. So, so be, be it. it. The bell, the book. Wow. The bell, the book, well, and the candle. Unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! <laughs> This should be familiar. I was just gonna say. The ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg. Look, Max, it's Santa's sleigh. What an unexpected stroke of luck. Or is it, Max? Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa's sleigh in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future, very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right now. Hey, past me! Check this out! Lassie as always, little pal. Now let's get out of here. Abandon all! Ho, ho, ho! Ye who enter here! <laughs> you escaped? That's highly implausible! Come on, Sam! Let's take this baby out and fly donuts around the seventh circle! It's out of power, little buddy. Guess I shouldn't have left the afterburners on. Wait, we froze how long? No, Sam's here. I don't know. He just let me answer it. Mm. Is it cold in here to you, Max? I should have worn my mucklucks. What's that, Commissioner? I won the Nobel Peace Prize? Congrats, pal. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more, whose name I'd be able to pronounce. Okay, thanks, Commissioner. Okay, yeah, roger that. Love you, too. Do we have a new case, little buddy? Nah, same one, but Sybil wants me to officiate at her wedding. Well, that'll be fun. We'd better hurry uh, up and restore the hell froze of over. power in hell, then. A little help here, guys. Hell. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Ah. Gluttony. It's locked. The bell. I don't like that we can see him digesting, Sam. It's all part of nature's hideous circle of life, Max. Let's see. A cup of Joe. Damn. shouldn't leave ritual candles lying around. How will we light it? Um, I don't even know what the plan is here. I just know that it obviously involves nope. this. Look so good, SCP. You've got sloth and gluttony 
down. Just five more to go. <laughs> Ice cream in hell, Max. What flavor is it? Hmm, looks like plain but... Ice cream. Damn. What are we doing over there? I only want to use it on things with bones. I'm a bone saw purist. Just a pinch of tar. Damn. Now, through the magic of television, let's see the cake in its final form. You make it look easy, Sam. Oh. Oh. That makes more sense now. I know three princes of hell who've got a special surprise coming. Why, you, you, you remember for us? Oh, you guys. Happy birthday, poppers. Did someone say birthday? No. say that again, Max. Not even as a joke. No. Well, boys, you've restored the infernal realms to their former glory. Thanks to your quick thinking and irrepressible spirit, hell is safe. I'm not gonna lie. I'm extremely proud of myself right now. We better run, Max. Uh. Sybil and Abe's wedding will be starting any minute. Later, Beelzebub. Sybil's paying me by the hour. Why don't you come by the reception, Satan? Really? I don't want you to get tired of me so soon. Since you're going to be seeing so much of me later. What? I didn't like the sound of that. Don't sweat it, Sam. We're bound to get reincarnated as each other a few times anyway. You crack me up, little blasphemer. Love is in the air, everybody. So hold on tight while we get on board the wedding train. <laughs> That's actually kind of nice. with the bride or groom, sir. Hmm. wonder if I don't like either one. No. <laughs> Everyone's there. Oh, hey. You're wearing white. Interesting choice. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today Interesting to celebrate choice. this twisted mockery of holy matrimony. It's so beautiful. I hope they have lots of children. Leonard Tree. I would say that. Do you have the ring? Oh, shoot. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Hunterbox says they don't last three months. Mazel tov! Ready, girls? Anytime! Denied! Bam! <laughs> What is it that you do? Listen up, because I'm only going to say this twice. I'm a bug. A bug! Interesting. May I interest you in a new blackmail opportunity? That's so sweet. Thanks for coming. All the way from Barbara. Stuttgart. Thank you so much. Enjoy the dinner. Yeah. All you have to do is take the tape off, my guy. You put your back foot in, you put your back foot out. Play a little shack, baby. Kick <laughs> Bye, kids. Have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You think we can trust 
system with our car, Sam? It's possessed by demons, Max. Can we trust the car? With them? Actually, that's a really good point. But here we are, guys. The end. Oh. Never mind. We got a post scene. You haven't seen the last of us, Sam and Max. We can never be defeated. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> or not. Goodbye. His eyeball survived. I don't like that. No. Okay. Hey, we did it. We made it to the end of Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. That's season two, guys. That's season two of the remasters. Um, we only have one left, and then we are all caught up. So we're going to be playing my favorite one, season three. That's Sam and Max and the Devil's Playhouse. So I'll be starting that as soon as possible. Hope you guys will catch the end of this very soon. Um, it's been a fantastic time. I had fun. Hope you guys did too. Um, let me know if you enjoyed it. Comment. Let me know. We'll have a discussion. It'll be a fun time. Uh, yeah. Please just don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, if you guys want to help out with the channel a bit more, you can join any one of the memberships. I'm, I think I'm going to be changing the name of the memberships pretty soon here. Um, but yeah. See you guys very soon. Peace out.